Hello, my name is Andre Harry. I'm here at ISH, and we're here to present one of Armstrong's new product offerings in the industry, the Tango Pump. Uh, now, the Tango Pump, a lot of interesting technologies built in here. Uh, one of them is, first of all, sensorless control. So we're able to control the pump without the requirement of a differential pressure switch uh, remotely located in the system. All we're doing then is we actually pump the pump up. We install the pump's performance curves into the controller, and then we specify the design point minimum system pressure. And from that, we're able to operate the pump. We'll always track the pump operating on that curve. As valves open and close, the end result is that there will be changes in the load. We're monitoring speed and load, and as those loads change, we adjust the speed accordingly. The other unique feature then is that we actually have flow, head, speed, power, voltage, current, all as outputs onto the pump. All of this information is also, we're able to actually send this information up to the cloud through a program called Pump Manager. Other unique features with Pump Manager is that we can monitor the pump's performance, create trending data, and do preventative maintenance just by following what's happening with the pump. Other thing is, with the Tango, we actually have two volutes on here. And this is the first pump in the industry that will actually provide true parallel pumping. Both volutes then operate, we have two impellers, and what's unique about this is that we have one impeller operating clockwise and the other counterclockwise. What this does now is with true parallel flow, we're actually, when their pumps are operating, we can achieve three to four percent improvement in a hydraulic efficiency over normal parallel pumping applications. The other thing then is we have embedded parallel sensorless pump control, which is a patented control strategy that Armstrong has developed exclusively for parallel pumping. Biggest difference here is that instead of staging the pumps based on speed, we're actually staging the pumps on their hydraulic efficiency. And as the hydraulic efficiency starts dropping based on the load, we will stage the second pump on. What that does is we have an, an opportunity for up to 20 to 30% savings in energy as opposed to standard staging processes. Um, that's... Oh, <laughs> God.